Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand Omega notation. The concept of Big O notation has already been explic uh, explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos because uh, the explanation in this video, uh, we are going to explain this concept based upon the assumption that you have already watched the concept of Big O notation because uh, this concept is very much similar to that of uh, Big O notation. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now uh, what is omega notation a function f of n is omega of g of n we can call a function uh, as omega of g of n when can we call it is if and only if there exists positive constant c and n not such that f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n so whenever the f of n is greater than or equal to some constant c into g of n for all the values of n where n greater than or equal to n not for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught if if this equation happens to be true then we can say that f of n is then we can represent the f of n as omega of g of n so let's try to understand this by using an example and one more point to note is so in the previous class we have uh, 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 forgot to mention it as greater than or equal to for big O notation also it is n greater than or equal to n naught try to get that uh, uh, try to make a note of this point so we, we will consider 3n plus 2 the previous example this 3n plus 2 if we are able to express it if, if this condition happens to be true for all the values of n if this same function uh, can be expressed in this way and it is true for all the values of n greater than n naught then this function can also be uh, uh, notated by using omega of g of n we have taken the same example for big o also okay so now if it is greater than or equal to so we are going to consider it as c into g of n so this is c and uh, uh, this is g of n if we, if we consider this and if 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 this condition happens to be true for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught then this one is true so let's try to check that for example if you take the value of n is equal to 1 check whether this is happens to be true so it is 3 3 plus 2 which is 5 greater than or equal to 3 is it true yes it is true for n is equal to 2 it is 6 plus 2 8 greater than or equal to 6 is it true yes it is true similarly for 3 also for similarly for all the values of n greater than or equal to 1 greater than or equal to 1 so here n naught is 1 for all the values of n naught uh, for the all the values of n greater than or equal to 1 this one is going to be true so now we can represent this as so 3n plus 2 can be represented as omega of g of n what is g of n g of n is this one so it can be represented as omega of n okay so now uh, we can represent it is in this way and what is what is the statement that we can say that what is that this notation is describing so we have said that asymptotic notations are used to describe the behavior of an algorithm what kind of behavior does this notation is describing so you can guess uh, 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 I think you can guess it so it is describing the lower bound see here it is describing the lower bound see here c of g c into g of n is 3n and here it is 3n plus 2 is the f of n see here here it is giving the lower bound the least possible so this f of n will never go below this c into g of n we are getting the lower bound so what it means is in order to get the output of an algorithm in order to get the output of an algorithm the minimum number of comparisons the minimum number of program steps that are to be executed is these many number of comparisons so try to get that minimum number of at least upper so big o big o of n is going to give the upper bound at most worst case here this omega notation is giving the at least number of executions at least number of executions uh, whereas big o is going to be the at most number of uh, executions n number of executions are to be done 
here minimum at least n number of comparisons are done at least n number of comparisons are, are done and at most uh, 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 how many steps are required to get the output it is unknown it is infinite try to check that point so this point is very important to understand so at least these many number of comparisons are to be done so in real world in real world there is no uh, the, uh, in at least in our course we are not going to discuss about these kind of algorithms for a for the algorithm to get the output if at least it requires n number of comparisons and uh, in order to get the output how many comparisons are to be done is not known try to get that point at least these many number of comparisons are to be done. if the behavior is in such a way that at least at least it is going to take n number of comparisons to get the output at least and at most how many comparisons it is going to take it is not known so such kind of algorithms we are not going to discuss in this course so there are different types of algorithms there are many different unsolved problems that are there and those unsolved problems are represented by using omega notation you know in this entire course we never ever going to use the omega notation omega notation the representation of the omega notation the algorithms which represent their uh, uh, which can be represented by using omega notations is beyond the scope of this uh, uh, beyond the scope of this course so just to understand the definition this is what the definition is okay this is all about omega notation hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching